<clears throat> Spike -o Chun son. Probably shouldn't have said it like that. This is, my <laughs> this is mildly offensive. And I'm not here yet, I'm just plugged in my microphone. Uh, Bob, we're right back right now. <laughs> Hello. I'm here for real? You know how, uh... Yeah, the sound effects. Have everything in English, because I'm, uh, one of your... I'm not a weep. XD. <laughs> Alright. Glad everything is working good. I'm about to start a new game. Uh, let me know if uh, you want me to slow down with any of the dialogue. Like in terms of like skipping through it. I can't believe you forgot the game starts like this. <laughs> You're just like, what? Where am I? 
so be beautiful. Wait a second, I mean, <laughs> I'm putting it on a, a video right now so I can see what's happening. I stopped my cultural enlightenment. Awesome. I'm glad you finally did that. Nah, I'm kidding. I mean, you're supposed to continue it, but I'm honored you stopped it for my uh, great stream. <laughs> Do something real quick. Yeah, I like the lens flare there. The laugh was kind of creepy, you're not wrong. Pointer. The pointer can be controlled with the left analog stick. Adjust the pointer into where you want to point stuff at and use that. Inspecting trigger actions such as uncovering hints, granting items, and opening or closing doors. Be sure to actively inspect any spot that catches your attention by using the pointer. I assume I can investigate this room later, but uh, I might as well do it now because I haven't actually got a good look at all this stuff. Extend. Yo, this music is pretty jammed, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they recommend this difficulty? That's interesting, I'm not gonna do it though. Uh, so this is demo. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Anyway, Sunday, anyway. July eighth, twenty eighteen. I was standing on the rooftop of Mashiro Garden Tower. The city nights were hot, humid, during the start of summer. A damp wind blowing under the moon. <laughs> Colorful lights illuminate the city below me. I don't know if I want to voice act. <laughs> I'll see. Each of those represents a family with people living their own lives. And I had snuffed one of them out. Life has no reset button. I used to think these words held no meaning to me. Let me know how the volume is in compared to my voice, because I feel like it seems loud. Where did I go wrong? Everything is so beautiful. I want to cry. The bright lights me want to look away instead. That's why I hoped. That's why I prayed. And there I stood, just wishing for the world to end. Splash? Change his voice up a little bit. Haruto Higurashi, male, 25 years old. This is you, now. 
Yeah, that's my name. I'm part of the rush. Graduated from Keio University, employed at a publishing house. Yes, you're in a little I'm not. I'm, I'm just a hypocrite. Oh, that's right. You don't have much time. Let's be doing then. Begin? What is it to begin? My life is already over. Just leave me alone. Illuminate a brighter future for humanity. I recognize that sound. It's from that game. Wait, game? What game? Where have I heard that sound before? Ah, uh, damn it, it's so bright. <laughs> this does sound mad loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down a little bit. I hear another voice calling. You know, me. you're gonna dry up like a prune if you fall asleep out here. A girl this time? I'm so over this. Just let me sleep. I'm tired of everything. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, that tickled me again. Yeah, you're gonna see why in a second. <laughs> oh, he moved. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John? Brother John? Why is she suddenly singing? Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Yo, real talk, I haven't heard that tune in like a billion years. When I heard this, my mind, my third eye opened. I was like, oh, I, I remember this. <laughs> it's been so long. Alright, already, I'm getting up. It's still really bright. Sunlight? What happened to me? Forget that, it's... So hot! Yeah, I feel like I heard the French version of that too before. I have to get up away from the excruciating heat, but quickly find myself at a loss for words. Nani? You should have said. Same difference. I had been sleeping on a white, sandy beach. Before me is a fast blue sea, and soaring above is a clear blue sky. Buildings and islands jut out of the sea at bizarre angles, and. Good morning! What's your name? Uh, Haruto Higarashi. <laughs> we meet at last, Haruto! There you are, between the sky and the sea. Is this place... <laughs> Yo, it's old, dude. Yo, let's just check out this music real quick while I get some water. And turn the light off. Okay, I'm back. Alright, now I definitely know if my voice is good enough considering there's actual music playing. I'm not sure how to, if I can change the settings. I don't want to like, oops, skip the cutscene or whatever. Or is it hell? I was on the roof of the building last night then. And... <laughs> nope, it's not heaven. You're on a garage island. Um... Garage? 
Uh, sorry, I'm a bit confused. Rip, what happened? <laughs> First of all, who are you? <laughs> you wanna know my name? You really wanna know Sachika's name, do you? She begins using her left pointer finger to write in the sand. Sachi Cup, Hirasaka. Um. Sachi Cup, Hirasaka? This is the first time I'm meeting her, so I couldn't know her name. But, why does this sound so familiar? Nice to finally talk to you, Haruto. Uh, Naruto's cousin, am I right? Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you too. The girl who introduced herself as Sachika Hirosaka grins widely. There's something almost mystical about the stark contrast between her hideous body and innocent smile. This place. Sachika, where did you say this place was again? It's Garage Island! Garage Island! Garage Island? Never. Wait, let me play back my audio just to make sure I can hear myself a little bit. Okay, actually, it sounds fine on my end. I was just kind of worried. It's like louder on my headphones than it is on. Um, in game. Uh, where was it saying? Garage Island? Never heard of it. So this is an island? Uh-huh. We're surrounded by the sea, so we can't leave here. Eh? We can't leave? Look at those butterflies. Looking around, I notice all the buildings around us are dilapidated, rusty, or deteriorating in some way. It's like the entire town had been neglected for decades. Hmm. So then, why is it called Garage Island? Oh, my phone! I shove my hands into my pants pocket, but it's not there. Abandoned <laughs> in 1998 style, right? <laughs> My phone, wallet, card case, house keys, they're all gone. I look in the sand around where I've woken up, but I can't find a single coin laying around. What? It's all gone. Did someone steal them? I check the watch on my left wrist. The time hasn't changed since last night, and the second hand is no longer moving. Damn it. Damn it. How did I get here? You're all on the ground when I found you. <laughs> I poked you because I thought you were dead, but I'm glad you're still alive. She makes a poking gesture with her left hand and smiles again. So... Where did you come from, Sachika? Do you live on this island? That's right. I came from the garage over that way. Everyone else is there too. She used her finger, rather, her entire right arm, to point in the direction behind me. Her right hand is prosthetic with two fingers, and her prosthetic leg is thin and dubious looking. Oh. What do you mean? I don't know how to do that. We're living this! We're living the survival life out here! Like, I don't know how... <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I can't pitch it any more than that. Survival? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, she's living on this island. How's that? Your parents will be around too, right? Can you take me to them? Sachika's pants. How do you say do it? I don't know how it's supposed to sound. Mm. Hi, I'm a little girl. Hey. Sachika's parents are around. They never were. Sorry. Oh, I see. Sorry. 
I may have accidentally touched an old rune of hers. I was careless of me. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing survival stuff. Me, Ryo, Mamu, Zen, oh, Minamo, Rinko, and Yuma too. You'll be joining us from now on too. I'll show you our garage. Oh, <laughs> FBI James the chat. Oh, FBI James. There's, there's nothing around here. Uh, thanks. Let's uh, go then. By the way, do you happen to have any water and parts? Yeah. yeah, we got water. Actually, brought some for you. I left it over there so it wouldn't get dirty. Let's pick it up on the way. I like how our little hands are like moving around. That's kind of cute. The girl quickly is by in front of me, then lightly hops onto the cracked asphalt. Despite her prosthetic leg, her movements are remarkably nimble. What? Well now, off to the garage! Alright. Right, thanks. Alright. The blue sky and the blue sea. Buildings submerged in the water. And street lights that no longer turn on. In this perfectly clear, apocalyptic world. My weekend has come to an end. Zonki Zero. Zankai? I don't know how to say that. Map. The mini map is there in the top right. Press space pad to look at the whole map. Map will be. <coughs> Sorry. Map information will automatically be added as you explore. Walk around and look at stuff. Uh, there's a time where your destination, that yellow waypoint, will be on the marked on the map. Be sure to check it often. Various items, such as food or materials, can be found on the ground. Target an object with the pointer, press the button to take, place, or throw it. When an item is placed on the floor, there are already too many items there. I don't want to be lost, so be careful in narrow pathways or small <gasps> small rooms. Lost items will wash up on the shores of Garage Island. If a thrown item lands in a body of water, the item will be permanently lost. Yeah, just tell me how to use items. Just likes to have them eat the item. The characters eat foods will have their stamina recovery. When stamina reaches zero, their life will gradually decrease. Make sure each character eats often, so their stamina doesn't get depleted. Yes, yeah, this is where it's like, you gotta worry about food and water and all that kind of stuff, and uh, take care of yourself. Found it. Blessing. A good time to begin a journey. What's this? The fortune won't come out for some reason. Found it. Oops. What a strange island. <laughs> All the buildings seem to be in ruins and there's no sign of life anywhere. There's no clamor of the city. All I hear is the ocean and a somber sound like a creaking ship. But the oddest thing of all is that the island I'm seeing for the first time somehow feels familiar. Because it's Japan 20,000 years in the future. Or something. Something like that, I know. I'm sure. Okay. And we're here. Uh, whoa. <laughs> that, was, that was really bad. Lost in my thoughts as you walk, I nearly bump into Sachika. When she suddenly stops. Looky, looky. And on your left hand side, we have the famous garage of garage. Famous garage of garage island. This place is... Standing before me is an old garage. Just an old, rusty garage. Nothing out of the ordinary in these ruins. Huh? What was that? I... I know this place? Satchez! Satchez, until you had to run off by yourself, Mimo just ripped me a new one. Yeah. Hey Rio, I'm back! I brought the last of our friends too! Yo, my my man Rio. 
I look up the fan to find the man standing next to Sachika. He seems to be about my age, maybe a little younger. The young man with the headband smiles as he notices me. Are you good? Hmm, hard to Higurashi, right? You alright? Uh, you don't look too hot. No. Oh, yes, um... Wait. How do you know my name? Yeah. Come to the garage, it's too hot out here. We can chill in the shade. Let's go! Yeah, let's get inside. Sachika and the headband guy each take one of my Wait. arms. What? Wait. Then they forcefully led me into the garage. Hey, everyone! We got a newcomer here! Hey, you got the whole squad here. Aren't you? I was wondering what you'd be like. You're mad at Pixie friends? <laughs> what do you mean? What's the, what's the issue? Alright, why don't you start by telling us your name, age, and profession? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh my, it's like you're taking him in for question. Let's welcome him with words of love. Not sure about feel that either, muscular man. Flores, huh? Hope you taste better than you can see. Um, I really don't think we should be eating him. Yeah, look at these cool characters, man. Um, it's like a bunch of weirdos. Welcome to Garage Island. Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, she's dummy too, right? <laughs> and my condolences. So, you all woke up and happened to find yourselves on this island too? Yeah. Yeah, way before you did. This is actually certain someone's third day. You know, Sachika, the girl we found you on the beach? She was the first awake, so uh, she's our island elder. I'm your senior. Hehe, <laughs> I'm the elder. Also. You ain't the only one who had their stuff stolen. All her phones and stuff are gone too. My, my. It was quite a shock waking up on some unknown island. An unknown desert island full of ruins, no less. <laughs> deserted island? Yeah. Yeah, we're the only ones here. Out of the only eight of us, including you. Yes. He is not lying. A woman answers of responding to my inner thoughts. Maybe my face shows my suspicion. The classy looking woman's voice is soft. There's an air of dignity, authority to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't just immediately take her word for it. Judging by the current situation, it's more likely you're all kidnapped and brought me to this island. Ugh. Hey, come on now, that's crazy talk. You're probably right. I uh, understand how you feel. I was the same way. But we're in the same boat as you. Before we knew it, we are on this island. Wait. Do you have any proof of that? What? But proof? Um... Uh... Should've known this would've happened. Seems like the stubborn type. She's that goth stalker girl from the Kiwi Pasta. <laughs> you know... I feel like I... I feel like I remember what you're talking about. It's like a vague memory. <laughs> Flower pen girl smells of soy. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. She definitely has a uh, Michelle vibe going on. I have to admit, I'm a bit annoyed by the man's sardonic tone. Answer me, please. Then please explain this. How did you know my name? Besides, what you say is true. We have all been kidnapped. How can you all stay so calm? Now, now. Haruto, let's pump the brakes a bit, yeah, it's cuz... The one with bl oh! <laughs> I, I think I remember. <laughs> Suddenly, the old TV in the garage turns on. The screen, which was blank just a moment ago, is now shouting at us with static noise. What convenient timing. Well, I expected it happened soon. Why don't you change the channel, Haruto? Huh? 
Huh? Yeah. You turn the dial on the TV, the channel changes. It's mostly just static, but one of the channels plays the cartoon. Hey! What's the point of it? You wanted proof, right? That show might explain what you want to know. Egg me on, huh? Fine, I'll bite. Very well. Just need to turn the dial? At the at that point, still haven't realized that the TV's power cable isn't even plugged into an outlet. Spooky. Is this it? The old-fashioned CRT continues displaying nothing but static. I have to admit, it's the first time I'm having such an antique item. Slowly, I reach out my hand. With a bit of force, the dial turns, making a loud snap. One channel hops in to do the trick. The static noise disappears, replaced with... Alright, now enjoy this wildness here. I get to take a break from talking. That's the pinnacle of cuteness. How's this? It's not, it's not creepy at all. What do you... I like this old tiny music in the background. Boy, I'm getting nervous. I don't know if I'd make a very good assistant. He's really digging in there. I think you're a bit too lax. <laughs> Yo, is that me? Nah, I'm kidding. You mean streaky. Now it's time for your next mission. Let's make a toilet. Okay, go. Hold on! You're going way too fast. Let's make a... I didn't mean the way you talk. We need to introduce ourselves first. What? Again? How many times are we going to do this? We haven't introduced ourselves to Haruto yet. We need to do these things properly. The rest of you already know our names, right? I'm Mirai, the herbivore mascot and host of Extend TV. Mirai? I am the, the, the uh, uh, assistant, Sho Terashima. Why did you start getting nervous all of a sudden? Oh, this is bad, Mirai. I'm about to pee my pants. I'm quick on the trigger, so... Uh, <laughs> Man, I like that sound. <laughs> yeah, let me screenshot this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm wearing undies. <laughs> <laughs> so gross, what the fuck? I think that just makes it worse. Is it, why would you not be wearing undies though in the first place, my man? Does that mean you don't usually wear them? Whatever. Ahem. Let's get back on track. The objective of Extend TV is to act as guides for all you last remaining survivors of humanity. We're here to make sure you all survive on this earth that's now been reduced to ruins. The last survivors of humanity? You see, humanity is now extinct. All except for you guys left on Garage Island. What? No way! You're joking, right? Please tell me you're joking! Yeah. I've explained this to you a bunch of times, Shell. I'm really surprised you're surprised. Huh? But how are we supposed to guide them? We only exist within this TV show and live in a completely different world than they do. Oh, so you're aware of that somehow. Um... We guide them by assigning them missions to clear. Uh, uh, even with
with our guidance. There's no way ordinary people can survive in the harsh world out there. <laughs> Why is he crying? <laughs> Why do you seem so frustrated? Don't worry. They all have a special power. None? It's a gift from God himself. The X key on their belly buttons. Oh, thanks, God. <laughs> X key? What's that? Is it like X Factor? We'll explain more about the X keys later. For now, you'll need to build your base of operations. Now's the time for you to announce their mission, show. Leave this to your trusty assistant. Here's the next mission. Become a pop idol! Um, that's different. Also, sorry if I'm yawning like a whole lot. I'm like mad sleepy. Oh, I'm not like super sleepy, but I am like a little bit sleepy because I woke up extra early <laughs> today. What is this, X Factor? You said it right the first time. <laughs> is this X Factor? We're going to have you all build a basic toilet. Without a toilet, something terrible could happen. Just like what happened to Show. <laughs> Flatter me all you want, but I don't have another drop left in me. Actually, I meant that yours is a bad example. <laughs> I don't want to hear any toilet etiquette from you, Mirai. You poop wherever you walk, don't you? Hey, I use the toilet too. I even use the bidet afterward. <laughs> you would use the bidet. Hmm, no wonder your butt is so clean. I hate this image. I say as I screenshot it, uh, you know, <laughs> for later. Uh, for sharing purposes, I mean, you know. Okay, but anyway. That's enough. Time to say goodbye. Remember, kids. Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye bye. Anyway, those. Those two are pretty great. I can't wait to see more of their bullcrap, you know, in the future. The TV powers off, powers off with an aggressive bzzz. Yo, the serious music though. What's with that ridiculous old cartoon? What about this? That was the answer to your question, Haruto. We're surviving on this island while following the orders issued from that Extend TV show you just saw. No. Rather, we're forced to obey them, I should say. Uh... That show is also how we know your name. You got it? You can imagine what our last mission may have been, right? It was find Haruto with Higarashi, the last member of the group. Sachika just cleared that mission, so now we're gonna get a new one. These people can be serious. Anyway, do we really need a toilet? Why don't we just piss like wherever, like we've been doing? Why you? Listen, the girls here too definitely need a toilet mission or not, but also help prevent certain crimes before they happen. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I don't like the like. The implication? <laughs> what? what? Talking about me? Right. <laughs> I agree. Being seen is not a problem. <laughs> Wait, was that it? I agree. Being seen is not a problem, but it would be unpleasant to see others doing their business. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Hey, yo, someone see me pee? Yeah, whatever. I don't want to see no one else do it. No. Th those are both definitely problems. Hey. Wait, wait just a minute. You expect me to believe any of that? Humanity's extinct and we need to survive on our own? I need a proper explanation here. See? How to try touching your belly button. My belly button? Over my shirt, I feel something hard on my stomach. There's something there. Flustered, I quickly pull up my shirt. There, I find. What the hell? 
Soy girl's full of decency. Yeah, for the most part. I hadn't noticed the foreign presence there until this very moment. And the place of my belly button is a small X-shaped object. Since when is I carefully touch it with the tip of my finger. It's usually made of metal, the virus when I tap it, but I don't feel any pain. Pulling on it, the skin around it lifts up too, as I pull harder. I feel a sharp pain, but my stomach's being pinched. I quickly let go. The object seems to be welded to my stomach. They're completely merged together. Don't. I wouldn't try pulling off, where are you? In my opinion, removal will require surgery. Huh? Sur surgery? So what is this thing? Some sort of tracking device, I think. With that, the woman turns to face me, slightly lifting up her shirt. The others follow suit and reveal their stomachs. This isn't a gesture of submission, you know. Just want to avoid unneeded suspicion. Is that supposed to mean? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's, he's, I don't need to say that. Yeah, we all doubted it until we saw for ourselves too. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> While you're at it, feel free to gaze upon my chiseled abs. Feel free to gaze upon my chiseled abs. Yeah. Hmm, hey, feel free to gaze upon my chiseled abs. Try to get my voice ready for it. Hmm. I might have lost some weight. I like I like your tummies like all fun. I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> As you can see, we all got one of these. The same X-shaped objects are exactly where their belly button should have been. I want to see mine too. What? Uh, no. Uh, that's okay, Sachika. I don't want you to expose your undies. Also. Size. I already checked her stomach. Her seemed a bit different for some reason. Can't believe they do that to a little girl like her. Hmm. Why would anyone put a tracking device on us? Yeah. Shut up. Um, to monitor us, presumably. Have you heard of? Reality television? It's a TV genre that's popular overseas. <laughs> oh right, it's where it shows participants live under one roof or passes a vibe on a deserted island. Wait, are you saying we're on one of those shows right now? Presumably. It's very likely. This humanity is extinct thing might be some show study. <laughs> they kidnap and put a tracking device on it? And then for us to against our will? That's illegal! Nah. It's a crime, all right. Theft, assault, and kidnap, and false imprisonment. I can go on. In that case, then we should call the police. The thing is, well, I am a cop, but there's no way to call for backup or escape from here. I'm sure, the police are on the move already with all these missing people, though. What? But, um, we should assume whoever kidnapped us, kidnapped us, ain't afraid of law enforcement. You must have unfathomable amounts of money and power. Isn't that right, madam? Who knows? Yeah, look how cute she is, though. Real talk. <laughs> money and power. Sounds like a good villain from a novel I read a while back. Can such a thing truly happen in real life? Doesn't sound likely in an age where search engines can show any images of any location in the world. Hmm, maybe it's God who brought us to Garage Island. I remember what Mirai said? The X keys are a gift from God. I need more carbs. <laughs> I would have preferred a gift with uh, more sugar in it. You're probably right. Yeah, we haven't had anything but water since yesterday. Mm hmm. My muscles are gonna need more love soon. Oh yeah! Wait, didn't they mention Xten TV that they're giving us food? Yeah! Oh yeah! They come to share with each other. Yeah! 
must be on the island. Let's split up. One crew worked on the toilet, and the other find it for you. How to you just arrived. So you can rest on the sofa. Hey, no. Let me turn it down a little bit. I don't know if it's going to change the volume of the stream, but... No, I'll do what I can do help. I like to have a look around the island, too. Oh, you're not suspicious of us anymore? Yeah. I haven't really accepted all of this yet, but... It seems like all I can lie with lie. So now, if I'm with any notions for now... Should listen to Monster. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not uncommon to find my initial theories and op opinions misplaced after conducting an interview. Well... I like your flexibility, I could learn a thing or two from you. I usually get all tied up in my own thoughts. Because it's more for me to experience. <laughs> I, I can tell you are the bald type. Look at these luscious locks. Hey, I've got locks. a full head of hair. Look at these luscious locks. I meant in the future. Yeah, look at that smile, though. Yeah. Nah! Don't say things like that. Oh. Okay, let's make that toilet if we find that food. <laughs> Yo, what a great quote. Yo, let's make that toilet and find that food. Yeah, Yo, instead of the sim saying, hey gamers, let's make that bread. He used to say, hey gamers, let's make that toilet. Let's find that food. <laughs> <sighs> so I had to drink some water. How <laughs> bad we all leave the garage. Even if the people are undercover crew members for the reality show have no choice but to play along. What I need most is information and the time to utilize it and think it over. Alright. Uh, let me. S can I save yet? Yeah. So then I can just save you. Wait, is it gonna show all, like, my name and stuff? Okay, it doesn't. Not that it matters, honestly. <laughs> Can I need to remember not to get these saves mixed up or that would be very troublesome. <sighs> Alright, how are you liking the game so far? What do you think about it? Even though nothing's happened, but... Is that...? It's from your initial impressions. Is that an arcade machine? Ever since my arrival, I've been curious about that giant object sitting in the back of the garage. <laughs> Excuse me. At first glance, it seemed to be an arcade cabinet you find again inside any game center. The cabinet is adorned with garish decorations, creating a silhouette not unlike poor pipe organs. Yeah, it is pretty weird for sure. Above the cabinet, the word extend is displayed prominently in neon letters. X10? Is that the game's title? I take a close look at the cabinet, but can't find the instruction card anywhere on it. I've never seen or heard of this game, but... I feel that strange sense of familiarity once again. Huh. Oh, how to you play video games? Guess we get that in common. Eh? You're... Ah, uh. oh, forgot to introduce myself, huh? I'm Ryo Mikajime, an up-and-coming artistic virtuoso. Rio McGime. Rio. Oh, he does look cool though. Oh. Art. <laughs> Artistic? Are you. <laughs> Are you some little illustrator of some sort? I'm a bondage artist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a bondage artist. I use ropes to bind all sorts of things, a form of artistic expression. Yeah, let me just clean cap. Huh? Bonded? Yeah. 
You ever heard of a turtle shell rope harness? I tie up people and objects in that sort of style. We can't leave people tied up forever, you know? <laughs> so I use this to leave a lasting image of my words. Yeah, that's a cool pose though. Rio takes the camera that was hanging from his hip into his hands. Yo, what's, yo, what's weird about it? You're just an artist. It's this shit. <laughs> oh, but I use an SLR for the real deal. This one's uh, just as disposable. I really only use it when I need to record my inspirations or new composition ideas for my pieces. Yeah. I, uh, see... I'm really not sure how to react. <laughs> Some of my friends went to art universities, but I don't know anyone to the adult entertainment genre. Uh, You're gonna go grab a vid later? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I get that reaction a lot. But you got the wrong idea, man. It has nothing to do with porn or S&M type stuff. Yeah. I'm an artist in every way, and bondage is my medium. I rarely look at my work in a sexual way. So you do sometimes then? <laughs> you may not believe me, but I have some regular fans who would check out my exhibition, you know? They even buy pictures of my pieces of the objects I've tied up. But that's still not enough to make a living, so uh, I do photography for amateur models, ramen and such. Hmm? Hmm? So you're a cameraman. I think the precise word is photographer, but whatever. Nope. No, I'm a bondage artist. He seems pretty adamant about this. I should uh, change the subject. Oh, yeah. This arcade cabinet is pretty big. You know what that game is? What is this video you linked to me? His arcade cabinet is pretty big. Do you know what that game did? <laughs> Dunno. Probably... Probably some games from overseas? American loves over-the-top stuff, don't they? That's a pretty broad generalization. Uh -huh. We should have killed some time with this, but uh, it doesn't even work. It doesn't work? That TV turned on earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that TV special. I really don't know how it powers on. That's pretty much no electricity or gas here. The door is the only thing that really works. The TV is special? Hmm, maybe it's a uh, solar powered. Huh? Huh. The cabinet's missing a few buttons. Guess you can't guess you can't play even if it could turn on. There's some holes in the control panel where buttons should be. There's also an X-shaped indentation between the joystick, joystick and the buttons. Hmm. It might work if we jam a stick in there or something. I don't know about that. That's right. Oh, that's right. I came here to find some rope. You see any lying around? No. No, can't say I have. Sheesh. Weird. I thought, so, thought I saw some around here yesterday. You find any? Mind uh, grabbing it for me? We need to. We need to build a toilet. Um. Sure, I'll give you any I find, Mr. Mikijime. Thanks. Awesome, thanks. Oh, and by the way, we're all the same age. You don't need to be all proper with right. us. Same age? Yeah. I think you're 25 earlier, right? So am I, and the others too. Well, some of us are 24, but look, all I'm saying is we're in the same ballpark. Oh, everyone but uh, Sachika, that is. Even, even she doesn't know how old she is. Huh. I see. Seven men and women who are 25 years old, and a girl of an unknown age. Hmm, sure, hope the FBI don't catch us. Nah, I'm kidding. Just what criteria do the crew use to pick us for their show? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna call you Haruto, so you can just call me Rio from now on. Yeah! We'll go check a couple of the places now, and you can find that rope. Yeah. I uh, guess I'll go look around too. Huh? Am I hearing things? But I thought... The arcade cabinet stood in the back of the garage, silent as ever. I couldn't put my finger on it, but it seemed like it had power on any moment. Just like that CR2. Whoa! 
Ah, ow. Ah, ow. Ah, ow. Ah. Whoa. Ow. Ah. Whoa. Ow. Ah. Whoa. Ow. All right, wait. <laughs> I need to check something really quick. Mm. Ah, my eye. I came back. There's a straight road with the ocean on both ends and an apartment like building facing. Hmm. The building isn't nearly as damaged as the others. As I stare at the building, one of the doors on the first floor swings open. A man built like a body blade emerges, followed by a woman in lavish looking gothic Lolita style clothes. Oh, oh it's you. Oh, it's you. Haruto. Ah, hello there, Haruto. Have you uh, taken a look around the island yet? Or perhaps you're here to see us? No. No, I just happened to pass by. I noticed this building is uh, still in decent shape. Wait a second. What are you two doing here? Are you searching for the food mentioned earlier? No. Oh no, we're not searching. Though, like you said, this building is better in shape than the others. That's why we've been assigning rooms for each of us and using them as a bedroom. Well... Uh, it's quite a bit of work, we cleaned up all the tracks inside the apartment for yesterday's mission. Ah, hmm. uh, so they're bedrooms. Then you two were getting some rest together. It's not like that. I like her little eye movement, that's, that's really cute. Uh, just so you do not misinterpret, misinterpret the situation. She's persistently hounding me to show him my body, so I allowed it just this one. <laughs> huh? Um. Then he repeatedly pressed his hard instrument against my, you know, and stomach. He repeatedly. What? Hey now. My, my, hold on just a minute now. Miss Yuma, you're the one giving him the wrong idea here. That's love. Though, if you ask me, there's nothing wrong with the, lo with the love that sparks from a misunderstanding. Yeah, like, that's so cute. What the hell? <laughs> that is really weird, but, you know, that doing the little heart thing is kind of cute. Miss Mashiro mentioned that her stomach was aching, so I was uh, simply giving her an examination. Huh? Examination? So are you... Excuse me. Ah, uh, have rooted me. I still haven't properly introduced myself. Is he a romance novel character? Yeah. My name's Mamoru Ichio. Believe it or not, I'm actually a doctor. <laughs> Buff ass. Do you get the sunglasses too? What the heck? You got a gold chain? And like a gold bracelet back there? <laughs> well, I've yet to earn my degree, but I plan on getting into pediatrics. Don't tell me. Oh, you're a doctor? I assume you're a bodybuilder or something, judging by your impressive build. Well... Uh, lifting weights is a hobby of mine. My body is just like this from continuously punning myself, punishing myself, you know? He talks with a smooth voice, but comes out as intimidating because of his muscles. Right. In other words, he's the doctor, interested in children, and enjoys hurting himself as a hobby. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good verse. Hey now. Hey now, you make me sound like some sort of pervert. <laughs> <laughs> like? <laughs> Hilarious. This woman also seems unique in her own Yuma. Um, Yuma was it? What do you do? Are you in the fashion industry? I am Yuma Mashiro, the woman with the child-bearing hips. <laughs> hey, why does she gotta say that? Like, <laughs> who, who just introduces themselves like that? Introduces, introduces themselves like that. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm... <laughs> 
I'm not gonna bother, but that's her. Yo, I can't see the heads well. part though. My father's name is Renji Mashu. Huh? Um, I'm sorry? Why does she bring up her father when I asked about her own job? Wait a minute. Renji Mashiro. I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah. She's a sole daughter of the Mashiro's group's president. That's right. Oh, now I remember. Why well, didn't I realize it before? She's a prominent figure in my industry. Yo, this is cool music. Though. Mashiro Group is a giant corporation that represents the entire country as a whole. You own know, companies in numerous industries, including manufacturing, financing, distribution, and media. They said to have enormous financial and political sway due to their wealth and inter-business network. The head of Mashiro is the president, carried over when it was still classified as a conglomerate. The current president is none other than Renji Mashiro. So, this woman is his daughter. <laughs> I believe working is for suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet, though, it's a bit different when you say it. But... but I was planning on working today. She who does not work, no, neither shall eat. That is basic survival etiquette. She wears an uninterested. Er, regretful expression on her face as she speaks. Let's see. I don't know if that'd be considered etiquette, but I agree we should all work together. Though, if you don't feel well, maybe better get some rest. That's true. Mm, Haruto is right. Don't want you worrying about finding that. Don't you worry about finding that food. That's love. We'll give you some. I'll, <laughs> I'll give you some once we find it. Sharing is a basic principle of love, after all. Mashiro does not accept charity. Once we return, I will pay a fair price in kind. <laughs> Let us see. How about a uh, hundred million dollars each? Excuse me. Uh, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Love seeks nothing in return. She go back to the bedroom and get some rest. You have to wait a bit for water, though. I'll start a fire and uh, boil some for you. Okay. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Yuma. Is she gonna be alright? Yeah. Yes, she'll be fine. Seems she drank too much water due to the heat and got a piece, piece of water poisoning. I didn't realize that was a thing. Though it kind of makes sense because I know when I drink a lot of water, I uh, be feeling kind of funny. How much water was she drinking though? Was she just drinking like a whole gallon at once or something? Like, because I know water is like limited too, but whatever. Be careful not to do the same, Haruto. Of course, you stay, should still stay adequately hydrated. Thanks. Okay, I well will. then. Well, now I think I have to think of a way to start that fire. See you around, Haruto. Yeah, I know like tons and tons of water can kill you, but I'm like, how much water was she drinking to be like, ooh, my tummy? <laughs> A doctor and the heiress of the Mashiro group, huh? They normally have nothing to do with each other. In any case, Yuma Mashiro, the one and only daughter of the president of the Mashiro group. She's known to be one of the richest people in the country, no, the world even. Begs the question, why is she here with us? Besides that, a time, right? Besides that, a normal TV studio couldn't air a show breaking so many laws. And I'm gonna pull this off. Wouldn't the Mashro group be the only possible suspect? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what am I doing writing the local news headline? I don't know anything for certain yet. Just keep looking around and gathering info. Ow. Ow. Hmm. It's filled with water. A well? No, it seems more like a water tank. That's... Uh, that's the water tower. Uh, this is where we get our drinking water from. 
A woman wearing a flowered hairpin stands before me. Um... Hello, um... Oh, my name is Rinko Suzukino. I work at my family's flower shop. What? You work at a flower shop? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> no, she is cute. She walked in. Yo, that was a nice, like, water filling sound effect. She walked into the tower and turned the valve. Clear water spewed out, filling the plastic bottle she held. <laughs> hmm, this is how you use it. The amount of water you get per day is uh, limited, though. Huh. Hmm. I wonder how that works. Um... Uh, no idea. I heard it filters seawater somehow. It apparently, only needed small fixes to get it running. Don't tell me. Is it part of one of those missions? Yes, it was a mission from before I was brought to the island, so I don't know too much about it. Well, if it only needed a little bit of fix, then it must have been put here by the TV crew to make us play the survival game. What do you think about that cartoon, Haruka? Yeah. I don't know what the TV crew is planning, but they sure put a lot of effort into all this. Not only did they prefer that cartoon, but this entire set of rooms, too. No. Oh yes, there's that as well, but I mean about us being the last survivors of uh, humanity. Do you believe this is all just a setting they made up for the show? Hmm. So there, there's really no one else alive who could have brought us here. You know, I was living a normal life until last night. I mean, possible every single human just disappear in such a short time. What if... What if we've been asleep for more than one night? What? N no! Oh, uh, nothing. You're probably right. This is just silly talk. But I like how her hands are actually looking like a little 2D or something. Uh, me and stressed from all this heat. I, probably, I start getting these strange thoughts in my head. Haruto! You, you should drink some water and cool your head if you ever feel stressed out too, Haruto. That's a cute little animation. I should have stayed on there a little more. Rinko jogs away of trying to flee the scene. We've been asleep for more than one night? It can't be. I mutter to myself with a sigh. Rinko's back had already disappeared from view. Stress. When your character does a lot of stress, their stamina will repeat faster. Stress will increase when eating unfavorable food or by letting bladder or burden levels go beyond a certain rate. Stress can decrease by eating favorable food or drinking water. Is she a weird panicky type? That seems like the case. Make sure to manage meals and burdens so stress doesn't get too high. Okay. Yeah, I can't like pause yet. Oh yeah, I remember where the next location's at. She needs her soylent. <laughs> On the other side of the road from the garage is a wide space that presumably used to be a parking lot. Sachika Hirosaka's crouched there, humming as she writes something on the ground. Um, what are you doing there, Sachika? Haruto. Uh, hey Haruto! Short time, no see. I was looking for a good spot to build the toilet. I looked all over, but I think this is the spot. It's close to the garage, too. Are you in charge of building the toilet? That's right. Oh, but Rio and Rinko are too. They're looking for the materials right now. Oh yeah, that Rio guy uh, was looking for Rook. Looky, looky! And Sachika's making the blueprint. See, look, isn't it cool? There are various diagrams and formless scratch on the scene with what seem to be a rock pen. 
I don't have a clue as to what she's writing. Maybe they're just doodles. Uh, impressive, but maybe you should simplify it. We have limited supplies here after all. Oh yeah! Then I should make it easy to build. Thanks for the tip. I feel guilty seeing a young girl like her work like this while I do nothing. Excuse me. Let me help you with that. I'm sure there'll be some heavy lifting to do. Are you okay? Are you sure? You trust us now? Sachiko looks to my eyes uneasily. It seems she's still concerned over the previous conversation. Sorry. Sorry about earlier. I really do want to trust you all. That's why I want to do what I can to help. Besides, we don't want your, uh, prosthetic arm and leg to get damaged. I hesitated for a second, unsure how to bring up her prosthetics, but ended up saying it anyway. Yeah. We can't repair the- I just- Yeah, have you noticed the eyes? We can't repair them out here, so we should be careful. Huh? No need to worry. If the damage isn't too severe, I can repair it myself. It's okay. I may not look it, but I was hailed as a girl genius, you know? I was even featured in newspapers before. Eh? Sachika? Sachika's expression, or rather, the entire air around her seems suddenly changed. But I must say, I'm moved by your sincere concern for my body. As such, I respond with sincerity and kind. With those words, Sachi literally lifted up the skirt of her one piece. What are you- Check out my stomach. This is called the X. There's an X-shaped tracking device on Shachika's belly button, just like us. The pattern color is slightly different than hers, and has an industrial metallic look to it. Comparatively, our X keys are almost like toys. In fact, they're like buttons on a game machine. You can get a little closer and touch it that would help you trust us. There's a faint smile on her face. It was an uncanny smile, as if she was doing it just so I can enjoy my reaction. Alright, I get it. Cover yourself up already. <laughs> <laughs> Did I go too far? No! Who just, who are it's you? Sachika. The Sachika everyone forgot. What? Forgot. Haruto. Haruto, there you are. Um... Uh, did you take a look around the island already? <sighs> Rio, Rinkin, listen, there's something wrong with Welcome back, Rio! Did you find the materials? Haruto says he's gonna help us build the toilet. <gasps> what? Thanks! Oh, thanks for the help, Haruto. You use another set of hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll help, but, uh. <laughs> thanks, Haruto! Did I just imagine that? Yeah, that whole part was, like, mad creepy. You know, her Sharingan activated on me and everything. I mean her uh, eye juicy. Her uh, bloodline check <laughs> Maybe I'm saying things from this heat and stress. Are you okay? You okay? Uh, not feeling too good? No, no I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. In that case, mind helping me find materials? I still can't find that rope. Oh? Oh, if you're looking for the, if you're looking for the rope, I saw Minamo with it earlier. Um, Minamo? Yeah. Remember that cop with the hot bot? Ah oh, man, I love turning her into an art piece. Wait. <laughs> we had a whisper into my ear. I do remember her, but uh, for different reasons. <laughs> All right. I guess they'll go find her then. I can check the layout of the island while I'm at it. You need anything else? Keep an eye out. It's like this. Yeah, just a few things. There should all be somewhere on the island. I look for Minama on my hand too. Well then. Then I'll prepare some water. I may need it for the toilet once it's ready. Sachika, we'll clean this place up and wipe you guys. Don't get lost, Haruto. Sachika. I won't, Sachika. Hmm? I wonder... Since when I've been speaking with Sachika, like she's an old friend, for some reason it just felt... natural that way. A 
bored for separating things like that. It's moderately thick and seems easy to handle. Burden. The character's burden goes over their carrying capacity. They will be unable to move. Organize their items often to avoid being encumbered. Since some members, characters not currently in the parts are focusing only on carrying items, they will not limit movement even if their burden goes over capacity. Be sure to make efficient use of sub members. Hmm. That's odd. I thought I saw someone walk by. I hear someone stepping in the sand behind me. I turn around in that moment. What? Ugh. Suddenly a hand covers my mouth and I get dragged to the shadows. Sorry, can you keep quiet for a second? Good grief. I'm a violent police officer. That was skillfully done though. Now now. I'm gonna let you go, so don't yell, okay? <laughs> what? Who's who's that for? See? Shh. Quiet. Look. The man with the towel around his neck points towards what seems to be a goat. Oh my! That's the first animal we found on this island. I wonder where it's been this whole time. Yeah. It must be the food they mentioned on TV. Since you're here, help me give us a hand, Haruto. Okay. Uh, with what? Let's go. Hunting, of course. We're gonna kill that animal. Huh? Kill? I can't do that. I never killed anything before. Look. You just got here, so you may not realize this. We don't exactly know how long we're stuck here. We should hunt and eat whatever we can. Don't you agree? Besides, I'm more worried about Saki. She's not as physically strong as the rest of us. She's gushing over the animal. Yeah, she did look cute. Uh, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Catch on quick, don't you, Haruto? I like that. I'm Zen Kubota. A farmer from a countryside deep in the mountains. Nice to meet you. Zen Kubota. Yeah, Zen is a cool name to have. Alright. Uh, nice to meet you too, Mr. Kubota. Yeah. Oh, I'm not one for finale. Zen's fine. It feels a bit too casual when we've only just met. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. We haven't introduced ourselves, huh? Yet? Oh, uh, yeah, huh? Should have been more upfront, me being a cop and all. I'm Minamo Satouchi, a 25 year old Ryzen police sergeant. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, is that a Hina, Zen a Hina's cousin? He definitely has a Hina esque personality, though, I'll say that much. <laughs> Dang it, there I go again. What? Uh. I should only salute when I'm wearing off. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I should only salute when I'm wearing off. She's cat, but it's been a habit of mine since I was a kid. She seems kind of goofy for a police officer. I guess that makes her more approachable. Though. Hey. It's gonna get away from much too much time talking. Harto, let's approach it from the front. Officer, can you go from? <laughs> Might be related to. Officer, can you go from behind and block his escape. Leave it to me. Ten four. I'm used to setting up checkpoints. How's this? I made a lasso. I might be able to catch the goat with this. I mean, now I can't help you in like a southern accent to her. I doubt it, but uh, you're free to try. Power to There should be a stick around here. You can use a weapon. It should be better than fighting for a hand. And not in response. Then adjusts his work glove and smiles. Well then. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> now this is survival. Police Otaki. <laughs> Equipment can be can, can Equipment can be equipped to the hands, head, body, and feet. Open the party menu to put on or remove equipment. It's about equipping stuff. Let's take this. Press square to attack, hold square from a charge attack. Charge is going to be used to break specific parts. From a charge with multiple people, needs a chain attack. Cooldown time will occur after each attack. Temporarily permitting from attacking again. 
Multiple hits with a charge attack will land a combo. Hunting organisms gives you food, XP, items. Breaking parts get you stuff. While charging, fully charged characters. Yeah. Let's take this. There's the goat by beat its ass. <laughs> Waiting for my chance! They will- There you go. He's not dead, he ran away. Wait, come back. I'll hold it. Come back here! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was pretty whack, but whatever. <sighs> Did we get it? The goat-like animals lying on the road completely immobile. Nice! Oh, I didn't even need to do anything. Good job, boys. Oh. How did a much better job than I expected. The headers were more indoorsy. They got pretty strong legs from all the business trips I got off for interviews. I know we need to eat, but I've never killed an animal like this before. No, no. No, it's still alive. Just barely. What? What? You should finish it off then. Won't be much help to the animal now, but I don't want to suffer any more than necessary. <laughs> you kill her instincts to awaken after your first hunt or something? Well then. You need to cut his cardboard artery and bleed it out. We'll wreak our otherwise. Huh. Well, you really know your stuff, Zen. But because you grew up on a farm, huh? Oh. No, no. Well, a normal farmer wouldn't normally do stuff like this. I just happened to bush your ghost and handle so many in my region. Can I have the ropes to hang it up? Here you go. I guess we need to last up. Yeah, dude. All you need to, all you need, all you need to hunt animals is a big stick to whack you. It's that easy. Here you go. I guess we didn't need the lasso after all. <sighs> well, yeah. Wait. Wait. Hold on. I was told we need the rope to build the toilet. That's why I came to find Minamo in the first place. Ah, you're making the toilet. She said so. I got dragged this before I could say a word. See? You only need a little bit of rope to hang the goat, so you can take the rest. Excuse me. Got it. Can you help with anything else? Hmm. hmm, you can stay if you want. That is, if you want to watch a goat slowly bleed out. No. Uh, that's alright. Sash is waiting for me, so I'll be going now. Alright. Okay, leave you to that then. I'm gonna watch so I can learn something. What? Huh? You're just get in the way, you know. <laughs> you like me? Why are you being so mean, Zen? Cause you got a crush on me? Huh? Like that is. You're annoying. What? You're so annoying. Yeah, <laughs> look at this expression. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the road. I did like the unique like animation there. My hands are still shaking. The animal is still alive. I'm gonna be killed soon. If life goes on like this, will I eventually get accustomed to taking lives? Damn it! What am I saying? It's too late to be having these thoughts. I killed already long ago. Ooh. Goat horn. Found a horn fully only found on goat male goat. This is hard and brittle making it tough to process. Before I go there, I'm gonna save real quick. Hmm. <sighs> um, let me see who's on right now. Let's play Planet Side. 
Let's see if we want to go through these last batch of cutscenes. Let me see. Yeah, 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 that's what I'll do. I'm, I'll go through the cutscenes, and then after the cutscene's over, I'll do the save point. And I'll probably end the stream for now, and then uh, show this to you some other time. Haruto. Oh, Haruto's back! Mm -hmm. Did you find the road? Yeah. Yeah, here. Is that everything? Thanks. Yep, that's everything. Thanks for the help. Huh? Well, where's Minama? Um, he's still helping them. Just go like animals by the buildings over there. Three was hunting down and caught it. Are <laughs> you actually trying to look for it? Good luck on it. Mr. Goat! Hey, Goat! I want to see you. For real? Me too. Leave us there, Howard, till the toilet can wait. Oh, wait! No, wait. Stop. They're probably wrapping things up right now. You shouldn't go. Huh? Wrapping? Well, oh, you know. oh, I, I see. Uh, we can uh, check it out next time, Sachika. Huh? What? Why? No. Um, because that goat's probably dead already. We'll be eating it later, so it's best not to look for an appetite's sake. Listen here. Jeez, Haruto, too direct, man. The goat's dead? They wanted to pet it. It's like this. Well, we'll die too if we don't eat. Sachi, you only had water and fruit these past two days, right? You need to eat a real meal. Look at it this way. The goat will live on us as the part the goat will live on as a part of you once you eat it. Aww. Really? It'll be a part of me? Thank you for being our food, Mr. Goat. Yeah! Now that I know we got some meat coming away, I'm pumped! Let's build this toilet before it's shower time. System menu. Oh yeah, it's not gonna actually pause. It's just telling me about skills and stuff. Now I can do base expansion. Now I can like upgrade stuff for our base of operations. And so now I can uh, make a toilet. Build a portable toilet. It's dirty and increases stress when stress when you use. Ta-da! Toilet. So, um, so this is all the weird skills, and when you look at the skill list, it kind of tells you, like, the weird stuff about, like, heals, like, have healed life over time during child stage, attack is increased during the adult stage, defense is increased during the middle age stage, whatever the heck that means, really, and so, you, and stress is decreased over time during the senior age. So you're automatically, you're looking like, what the heck are they talking about, you know? That's when I remembered about the weird, like, age system in the game. There's also, like, a bunch of other skills that you can get, too. And it's specific for each character, too. Like, he can learn, like, most of the, like, attack-based skills. Same for him. But like when he's a child, he has like this special thing. So it increases like buff and decreases debuff durations when he's a child. Or when he's middle age, he has a special thing where it increases defense when two other characters have been alive. Long 
increased defense when two other characters have been alive longer are in the party. Oh, interesting. So if you're with people who have been alive more than everybody else, they get more defense. That's interesting. So like you start reading this and you're like, yo, what's going to happen? <laughs> Cause it's talking about like dying and like aging and stuff like that. So it kind of lets you know that yo, dudes are gonna be killed. And like you go to him and he has like a, like you know he's a weirdo when he has this move called Thrill. Attack increases when only two or less survivors in the party. So it's like, oh, when I want to purposely like have few numbers, he's like, yo, I like this. Right? Or like farming muscles, increase charge attack damage. Or if you go to the buff guy, like he has a lot of special skills like quadriceps, pectorals, biceps. And these are like special skills that only he can get because he's a buff dude. Or like loving care. Or on the party, non food consumable items which are given to others lowers the recipient's stress. Like, honestly, I don't know what a lot of this is even gonna actually be. But I still find it neat that it's like you have these eight characters and they all have like special things they can do. And a lot of her skills are like food based for the most part. And there's also like some skills kind of like let her know that she's probably best to be used in the back row. Because she has like a skill that allows her to like reload with range attacks, right? And she has two skills that involve her being in the back row. So it makes you go, oh, I should always keep her in the back row because she has skills that are like specifically suited to that. And she has this gourmand, food lover, sniping skills, throwing skills. Kind of lets you know, oh, I should, she's like a ranged person for the most part. <laughs> Motherly instincts. And like how she only has blunt fundamentals, meaning like when it comes to blunt weapons, like that's her main deal, but she's not good at anything else. Like weapon wands. Nurturing. But anyway, I'm not gonna... Okay, I, here's where I can actually like turn down the sound and all that if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, she is full of the mom skills. I guess that's what she's got. It. It's more or less what she's all about. Let me actually turn the brightness up so I can see that last part. Telling me about the facilities. The toilet you built earlier can be used to relieve the bladder gauge. Bedrooms can be used to heal a life. Weapons, armor, and materials can be used in the workshop to create many different items. Food items can be used to kick in the kitchen. Items in the warehouse can be used when crafting and cooking. Try expanding your base as much as possible. So that's pretty cool. So eventually we're gonna have like a kitchen and all that and like anytime I'm guessing that you know when all everyone's low on health I'll be like yo let's run away from the dungeon and just heal up or whatever. As we finish installing the toilet and take a rest, Rinko appears with some water. It's lukewarm but drinking water after physical labor was That's the stuff. Yeah. yeah. I forgot just how delicious water can be. Love it. Man, the only thing better than water for by Rinko herself is some ice cold beer. <laughs> wow, well, that's nice of you, but it would taste the same no matter who pours it. Thanks for your hard work, Harley. Must be tired after all that running around. 
Harkin wants to work for his mission, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, but it worked my ass off too, you know? But how to run most of the stuff we need? What? <laughs> hey, I'm the one trying to road. Excuse me. Um, so do we clear that mission? I can't even really tell. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If you did that, the TV would come on again. But but mission aside, I'm really glad we finally have a toilet. I was afraid of being seen if we um, did our business outside somewhere. Is that what they all been doing until now? Thank you. So I'd like to say thank you for helping us, even though you've gotten here. No, don't mention it. I'd rather put myself in useless sit around here. I thought I'm left in my own box in this kid, ain't you? I know what you mean. Puts my mind at ease when I can just focus on the time. Whew, when I came on this island yesterday, I was downright scared. You see it? Oh, bless you. <laughs> Rinko, you're a hot mess. You're screaming, get away! Don't touch me! One much better, Rio. You kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a really good animation. Just like, uh, what are we talking about? Yeah, also, I really like like the movement of the eyes too. I mean, <laughs> it's not like that. What's with that look? You just see how ripped Doc Ichio is. That thing's gonna snap me in two. Ooh, yo, I definitely feel my stomach. I mean, my, I was gonna say my stomach, my uh, throat is all feeling iffy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good old water. <laughs> but then you must be calm the whole time. It's the same question I got from meeting you. And speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, why is she holding her hair like that though? We turn around to find Yuma suddenly standing behind us. Yuma! Ah, uh, Yuma, looky, looky, you made the toilet. How to look really hard on it. Yes. Yes, that's why I'm here. Good work. Harto, do you mind if I use it? In that case. Oh, uh, sure. We haven't tested it's it though. Mine. And I shall be the first. Yeah. You can go right ahead. Yuma! Yuma should probably take this. What is it? Hmm? I would not need to punish myself right away. Besides, water is... Well, you see... Um, it's, uh, not for drinking. She glances at Ryo and me and then continues. Um, it's for manual washing. Thank you. Ah, bidet. Of course. Thank you. Mima takes the bottle of water and enters the toilet. But she comes back out a moment later and... TV is on. To the garage. She leaves us a message like a telegram and goes back inside. Toilets. Toilets can be used to relieve a killer character's bladder gauge. Use a dirty toilet will increase stress. Bladder. The bladder gauge increases with the passage of time and all eating. When the when the gauge reaches limit, characters will wet themselves. When this happens, it will incur several negative effects, such as long cooldown times. Keep an eye on the bladder gauge so no one has any unfortunate accidents. Hey, don't have your characters pee or so. It's not wrong, it's very important. Whoa! Ah! What's this? Alright, luckily they're gonna be talking in this, so uh, I can take a break. The old CRTs are playing static again. The DAO has moved since the last show, and it seems the channel changes after every episode. Wait for you in return from the restroom, and I turn the dial. After turning it several more notches, that program pops up on the screen once again. Hey kids! It's time for Extend TV! <laughs> Congratulations! 
Congratulations on completing the toilet. Clap, clap, clap. Here, why did she say clap? Clap, clap, clap. Now we have a water tower, bedrooms, and a toilet all ready to go. <laughs> Piece of cake. I guess the survival stuff isn't as hard as it seems. But don't let your guard down. The humanity restoration mission is just beginning. Gulp. So it's finally starting. Once upon a time, over seven billion people lived on this Earth. But now, the human population is down to eight. You guys are the only ones left in the world. This grand plan to revive the dying human race is known as the Humanity Restoration Mission. What is that noise? <laughs> Like, why did you say that? <laughs> Oopsie. I got all worked up, but I don't actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's what I thought. Let me explain. Yeah, I know the voice act. I feel like a lot of the voice actors are having fun with, like, this weird dialogue in this game. Do you know what a human clone is, Show? Of course I know what a clone is. My dad is knee-deep in them. That jerk always gets drunk and beats me. And every night he'd get violent with my mom and... Oh, I see. Well, that got real dark real fast. <laughs> Put simply, human clones are exact copies of people. So, if there was a clone of me, he'd look exactly like me? That's right. Well... You're actually a clone yourself, Show. <laughs> That's hilarious! And I'm actually a sheep clone. You couldn't tell, could ya? Wait just a minute. But where's the original me? Your original body died on the Day of Reckoning. But your mind is still on your belly. My belly? You mean... Yeah! That X key on your belly button is where your mind is stored! Oh, that. Huh? What did you think I was talking about? Anyway, as long as you have the X key, you can be revived again in a new body. Wow! This X key thingy sounds pretty amazing! Wait, so that must mean... Everyone watching this program is a clone, too? That's right! And the Humanity Restoration Mission can only be carried out by our clone friends. But you know, I'm still having a hard time believing everyone is a human clone. Mm-hmm. That's something you'll have to see for yourself. So, here's the next mission. Whoa! So we really are gonna make a clone? Yes. But there's something that needs to be done first. There is? What could that be? Well... Come on, just tell me already! You see, to make a clone, you need the X key on their belly, but... It won't come off unless they die. In fact, they'll die if you take it off. So in order to make a human clone... So, someone needs to die then? That's it? Piece of cake! I'm sure everyone will understand. I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins after all. Oh, well that's a relief. Okay, we'll see you all later. Remember, kids. Illuminate! A brighter future! For humanity! Bye-bye! Uh, Y'all mind if I uh, die for you, man? <laughs> Yo, that feel like. Mm -hmm. um, wow, we check out those stars. What do you think, Haruto? Pretty nice, right? Let's see. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's been years since I gazed at a nice sky like this. A okay. All right, y'all, dinner time. <laughs> Our first real meal since coming to this island. 
Nava arrives with several plates in her hands, along with the fragrant aroma of food. Some well-cooked animal meats on plate on meat on plates in varying colors and patterns. Come on, what's weird about being clones and being the last members of humanity? <laughs> and that you one mission requires someone to die. There's nothing weird about that at all. Meat. My meat. What? You my, your eyes are scared. That's love. Ah, it smells delicious. You feel the love put into this meal. <laughs> That's weird everything. You know what maybe? <laughs> That's the secret ingredient. Mr. Goat! Thank you for the meal, Mr. Goat. Oh, yo, check out this music real quick. Yo. This music is so groovy, man. Mom radio music. <laughs> yeah, okay, this music is <laughs> Ew, this music is slapped. Okay, I'm gonna continue now. But I'm surprised you were able to set a fire. How do you do it? That's my love. I took a stick and sort of drilled it with my hands. It seems my love for everyone here is caused a miracle. <laughs> I see. Thank you for that. It tastes uh, kind of gamey. It's really tough, too. Are you bad at cooking, perhaps? What? Don't be an ass! We had nothing to season with. All I did was cook with some fire, to be honest. This is bad. He <laughs> talked about it. This tastes very bad. Excuse me. But you're eating the most out of all of us. Is your stomach feeling any better? The unseasoned goat meat is, like Rio said, very gamey. It can hardly be called appetizing. <laughs> what do you mean? Just talking about the goat. Oh, are you talking about the love guy? I don't know. He just he just loves everybody, man. He just loves drilling things to help every, to help the love of everybody. Then, still we enjoy our dinner together to the fullest. Sharing a meal is such a gratifying experience. Wherever you are, it offers great bonding moments. But happiness is short-lived, and abruptly ends with Zen's single statement. Well then. So, who here would like to die? I want to call the Popo. Come on, he has good intentions, man. He just wants to love everybody. There's no issue there. He's a doctor. He's, 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 he's trained to help people. Specifically kids, though. Yo, imagine you. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I know I'm like interrupting a serious moment here. But yo, what if like you're a kid and you went to this buff ass dude as your doctor, though? <laughs> How would you feel? Anyway. So, who here would like to die? Everyone stops eating all at once, and the group falls silent. <laughs> Y'all, the FBI? <laughs> Understandable. The mission provided by Extend TV, a topic everyone has been avoiding. Hey! No one, of course. Don't be stupid. Mm hmm. But we have a mission to do, no? How are you supposed to do it, Vance, if someone doesn't die? Like I said. Then F the mission! 
Right. He's right. We can't just have someone die. That's true. As long as that show true intentions remain unknown, I agree it's dangerous to evade blindly. Look. We're what they we're what they call human clones, right? Sin taps on his stomach with his knuckles. See? As long as we have these, we can come back to life. That's what they said. What is this guy saying? Do you really believe that nonsense? Whatever. Do you really think by dying? I guess that's true. Yeah, good point. Maybe I will. Suddenly, he has a glass shard in his hand. He presses it against his own neck. Don't! What? what are you? See ya. I look forward to our next meeting. Don't! No! You hear the dull sounds of two bodies colliding, and the red fluid drops on drips onto the ground. <laughs> it's Minamo's blood. I'm not letting anyone die on my watch. No way. Zen, that's enough. Quit fooling around. You're bleeding. Minamo pulls the glass jar from Zen's hand. He releases it without resistance. <laughs> Not <laughs> even worse. Oh no! What have you done? Show me your hand. <laughs> you gotta admit it does hurt. Can't really move my fingers. Good grief! Such a strong sense of justice. My sentence was due to that. Good grief, but a strong sense of justice. Hey! Zen! That's supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. Sorry, sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Didn't think she would take it so seriously. Though, I wasn't completely joking when I said I was okay with dying. Damn it. You're still going on about that? Well... It's because I still with regret over my sin. Huh? Huh? Maybe Miss Officer thinks the same way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. And I'll stop glaring at me now. Maybe think about the meaning behind the mission. Or rather, the true intentions of our hosts. And just became a cripple. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yo, mom's pretty. Mom, uh, uh, mom is pretty tight though. She's definitely one of my favorites, but I'm always impartial to uh, cute dark-skinned ladies in my anime games. But still, <laughs> with that, Zen leaves us and walks towards the apartment building. I'm sorry. I apologize. It was my fault for provoking him. It's not like that. There's no reason for you to be sorry. He's the crazy one. <laughs> oh. Sachika? <laughs> the dinner is ruined. We were having fun. Sachi. You Chaco chased me? Nah, man. I just, I'm, I'm just an appreciation of... Uh, Dark skinned gals and plus size gals. I'm just. That's just how it'd be. <laughs> Sachi. Why don't we call it day? I'll take Sachi get back to her room. Right. Yes, she all get some rest. I'll hold back once I'm done treating Miss Namu. Sheesh. Start cleaning up then. Come on, give me a hand, Haruto. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Then? I will help as well. We change a few words as we clean up. I, I mean, doesn't everyone like those kind of characters? <laughs> they return to their own rooms. Even after the incident, the starry night. Did I even what? Did I even read the the beginning of that sentence? Whatever. Even after the incident, the starry night sky is unchangingly beautiful. I lie face up in my assigned room, a little sigh of relief. 
I chase nerds. Yes, that's cool. There's nothing here to sleep on but being alone at night. At last, that's my mind at least. Why are we here anyway? I stare at the cracked ceiling light as I recall the words from Extend TV. Wow, this X key sounds pretty amazing. Wait, so that must mean everyone watching this program is a clone too? That's right. And the Humanity Restoration Mission can only be carried up by our clone friends. That was bad for both of us. It's like your better room. Ah. Uh, understandable. <laughs> Even clones, huh? I touch the piece of metal embedded in my stomach. This piece of metal is my true identity. So is the me touching it right now just a copy? That's true. The original me is long gone. Will be like my sin never happened? I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins after all. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm overwhelmed with drowsiness. It seems my body was longing for rest far more than I thought. Before I realize, my consciousness falls into a deep sleep. Hey, Haruto, wake up. What else is grouped up already? Dress up. I slowly open my eyes. Cracked ceiling lights, tattered cloth. Still the same ceiling as yesterday, unfortunately. Wake up, Haruto! You even there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm getting up. A mutter as I grope around for my glasses, but the incessant pounding on the door didn't let up. Hey! Earth to Haruto! You awake, man? Hold your horses, I'm coming out. Yo, guess you're a heavy sleeper, huh? Thought you might have died or something. Yeah! We're all gonna gather at the west shore. See you there. Huh? At the shore? Why? You're gonna catch some fish? Nope. Nah, I don't have time for something like that. We now we'll find another island flowing right next to this one. Alright. And with this, I'm gonna end the stream here. Because... I'm sleeping more sleepy and my throat getting parched. But I think that's a good taste of like the weirdness and the mystery of this game, hopefully. Uh, probably gonna stream. Well, I don't know if we have time to stream it tomorrow, depending actually. All right, can't wait to see the stalker meme. <laughs> um, I'll definitely stream it again sometime later, probably Monday though. But I'll see. Hope you enjoyed the game. I'm glad you're liking it. I'm digging it a lot so far. It's super weird and zany in the Danganronpa fashion. Actually, it gives me more of a 999 vibe to be more honest. But anyway, thanks for coming to the stream. I hope my voice acting wasn't too terrible, along with my various mistakes. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!